Leading trainer Peter Moody was fined 5,000 after pleading guilty to the charge with a positive precedent at Victoria Race Court on Monday. Moody confronted VRT respond accusations of having traces of phenylbutazone and oxyphenylbutazone in the ration system off a Brereton race at Flemington in May. Brereton started with a 21 chance to finish sixth beating the listed straight six by two lengths. Marwan L. Asmar, legal counsel to racing Victoria referees, said Moody admitted the charge at first opportunity. Al Asmar said Moody and training partner Catherine Coleman, who was assistant trainer at time of offence, had no explanation for presence of these substances in horses' system. He added that the referees did not request a suspension or disqualification for Moody, but a 5,000 fine for the coach. That Danny O'Brien and John Leake Jr. he said it was compatible with similar cases such as Al Asmar. Told VRT panel of judges John Bowman and Judy Bork that the 5,000 fine would serve purpose of warning trainers to be more careful when administering therapeutics. Peter Moody and Catherine Coleman started a training partnership at the start of the racing season. A smaller fine would undermine the general principle of deterrence, said Al Asmar, Moody's attorney. Peter Jerkowski told court that positive test result was result of a misapplication, possibly caused by human error, but noted that Moody took full responsibility for error. Jerkowski said Moody adjusted stable procedures after the error. He said Moody has trained his staff be more diligent in double-checking the right horse that is taking medication, while also changing stable procedures to limit only two staff members other than himself and Coleman from taking responsibility for administering medication horses. Jerkowski also noted that Moody would be a source public humiliation and embarrassment for the public's inability to distinguish between ministration of therapeutic agents and the deliberate use stimulants. Jerkowski also presented Moody with a letter of support from Brereton's managing owner, Rosemont stud boss Anthony Mithen. VRT ordered Brereton to be disqualified from the race losing 3,500 in prize money. Annabelle Neesham fined 4,000 due to positive flush to polices in NSW Group 1 winning coach Annabelle. Neesham was fined 4,000 after the galloping token capitalist tested positive for Altrenagest after her win at Gosford on the coast day in May. Nisham pleaded guilty under AR-240 after the banned substance was discovered in his postrace blood sample. She was fully cooperating with the officers throughout the investigation. She, token capitalist 134 Yo Benchmark 72 Handicap 1600 meters race on the cart but has since been disqualified and replaced by Tozenthnose as race winner. Initially, Nisham was fined 6,000, but judges took into account coach's plea of guilty. His full cooperation with racing NSW referees during investigation, and his personal and professional circumstance.